Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Welcome back to another video. Now, for today, I'll be showing you how to put AI in Halo 5 Forge. Now, just as a little disclaimer, when I say Halo 5 Forge, I don't mean as in Forge mode, I mean as in the PC version of Halo 5 in which was ported. Now, this does require a mod to actually put this in the game, so let's get straight to it. Now the first thing you've got to do if you haven't done it already is to simply download Halo 5 Forge. So we'll just simply write in Halo 5 Forge and it should come up as the Halo 5 Forge bundle. Simply just click on that, let it load and then download it. Now based on your internet speed this could take a while due to the fact that it is up to I believe 50 gig to download. So if that's the case you're probably going to have to leave it maybe overnight to download. Anyway. Once you've done that, I'm going to link, I have a link in the description that's going to lead you to a YouTube video by Game Cheat, and there'll be a link in the description of that to the latest version of Exuberant. Now, simply just download that, and once you've done that, get it out of the zip, open it up, and open up Exuberant. Now, on your first load up, it may have something at the bottom saying it's downloading a bunch of stuff, but that's not really important for what we're doing. Now what you have to do is you have to jump over to local only. Now, you can do this in or out of the game, so I'm just going to simply open up the game. We'll click play now. Now once it loads in, just press enter and minimize it. Now, back to Exhibit. It's it. We'll move over to local only and it'll still say install offline forge map. Now, all this would do is any map you choose, it will basically install that map as a local only in which we can put the AI into. Which does mean we cannot have it work for other people so you'll be only be able to play with yourself when doing this. Now, I'm going to choose Breakout Arena but you can choose any other option there. Now, you've got a bunch of options here. Make sure AI enabled is clicked because we'll require that. And the rest of these can be enabled if you wish. Now all you have to do is click Install Map installing it'll basically tell you what this will do you just click yes you now get back into halo 5 forge go to tutorials and start the interactive tutorial because what this does is it replaces the interactive tutorial with whatever map you decided to install allowing us to put ai into it and that's also why it's a local only so you should be in now what we need to do is go back to exuber now all you gotta do is enable, enable, and enable. Now, first thing we're gonna do is set a respawn time, which is basically when we place these down from a cone, it's gonna the AI itself is gonna respawn, for example, every four seconds. Now I'm gonna set this to every 15. Now, biped. All the biped is is what sort of character, which is either man the mantis or certain Spartans. Now I'm just gonna pick Fred. And then you got the Intel primary weapon. And there'll be a huge list of stuff from vehicle weapons to actual weapons. Now I'm going to go to the bottom because that's where most of the holdable weapons are. And I'm just going to choose DMR. Now, the primary weapon configuration is basically the what kind of configuration you want for it. Which is like, let's say I want my DMR to have a two sight and that. So you can basically go through her and choose any specific type of weapon. I would just choose a two sight. Now the second weapon, Syrian we choose second, and it will change it based on the scenario. So I'll choose SMG, then I'll go through this, look for the SMG configurations, and I'll choose a cover sight. You can also choose grenade type, I'll choose frag, but you can also choose plasma. Click apply changes, and if you want two more, go through these and change it to whatever you want, but I'll be just showing one as an example. So, now we gotta go to the forge menu, click the plus, extras, FX and AI, and AI spawner one, and boom, AI. As you can see, we got this with the covenant hollow site, and this with it two times. Now, one of the things we that uh, unfortunately happens is that you cannot actually save this so any changes you do make to it won't be permanent 
So you can notice how we switched to the SMG during that. That's also one of the things you gotta watch out for. Now, you could set this up the way you wanted to. Like, I'll probably show an example as background footage of how you can set this thing up. But now, as the way you can set this up. Here's one last thing. You could also, that I forgot to go over, is the team. You could set these to any team you want, so you can have them fight each other. If you want them to be on your team, just simply go neutral and apply changes. And remember to apply changes every time you change something to them, otherwise the spawner itself won't change. Also another neat thing is you can actually swap weapons with them. So if I wanted to, I could pretty much just swap any weapon with them. And also watch out because with the 10 second or 15 whatever it's set to they will start to pile on so one of the tips i'd use for setting them out is to probably have them spawn on launches and have them being launched into the map so if i go add go to gameplay launches and then the tubes a man cannon i can actually launch them into the map so if you want them to be on the outside and launch them in it's always an option now I'll set this back to, we'll set it to Covenant, apply changes, and we'll see how this hap what happens when they actually go to fight each other, just as a quick example. I'll kill some of these allies just to make it a bit easier. Now the AI themselves aren't actually perfect, as you can see. Like my allies are doing a admittedly pretty bad job at what they're trying to do, but that's probably just due to the way you game chair had to set these up so one of the so the arrow themselves are not perfect but i'd say these are probably as good as we're going to be able to get them anytime soon now that basically sums up this tutorial i'll show some background footage of what i set up now anyway that's the end of that if you enjoyed what you watched or you found this tutorial at all useful make sure to give it a like as they'd be greatly appreciated and would help get this video out there that's all and I hope to see you again soon.